everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy Creative Card Challenge Wednesday. Thank you all for joining me here today. And I have a card sketch challenge for you today. Um, I want to show you how I use my card sketches and I try to do one at least once a month on our card challenges. And since today is July the 14th, I thought I would go with card sketch number 14. But before we do that, a couple of things. First, for those of you who don't know me, hello, welcome. My name's Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page. And uh, I help card makers by sharing art design skills in my card tutorials. Also, don't forget, every month I have a host code. The July host code is right there. So those of you who spend $50 or more before tax, I love sending you a nice gift at the end of the month as a thank you. Hey, good morning, Ele Elevin. <laughs> Evelyn and Debbie. How are you this morning? Um, let's see, what else do I want to remind you of? That's it. Okay, so last week's challenge was a scrappy Christmas challenge. Let me get this off of here and this off of here while we go over to the wheel. And we had 20 of you guys enter, and you all have some really creative scrappy cards here. So if you have not looked through the entries to the card challenge, please do so and get some ideas for your Christmas cards. All right, here we go, and we spin. Number eight. All right. And I'm going to come over here to the challenge and count down eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I have Debbie Wilson. Okay. One of my many Debbies I have. Debbie Wilson. Congratulations. And if I do not have your mailing address, um, I will contact you. Um, or you can just go ahead and send me your mailing address uh, in a private message. Okay, <laughs> congratulations again, Debbie. Ah, sketch number 14. Let's move this over here and let's look at my sketchbook. Now, uh, a lot of you all already own this sketchbook and if you have it, get it out and we are gonna be on card sketch number 14. If you don't have this sketchbook, I offer it. Uh, I only charge $4.95 for it. It helps just uh, with my cost of newsletter and blog uh, costs and all of that. So, um, and it's also just really helpful for you guys. So here's card sketch number 14 down here at the bottom. Hold on, let me zoom in so you all can see it better. Get 13 out of the way. There we go. And I want to um, explain the card sketch first before we jump into making it. The main part of this card sketch is that the layer, this white layer, is pushed over and up against the right side of the card base. Okay, so that's the main part of this card sketch. So whatever you create on your layer, you just attach it to your card base over here um, against the right side of the card. Now, there's some other parts to it. There is a element here, and this can either be at this, where the sentiment goes, which is what I did on my example here, or your image could go here and you could have a very large sentiment over here. And we do have some really beautiful large sentiments. Also, if you notice, um, the sentiment or this element here kind of takes up this corner. So you have all this corner down here to create. And I want to show you what I do with it today. When I made my example, when I created this book, um, I did a watercolor uh, in, uh, resist embossing. So I stamped and heat embossed with white. And then I went in with the watercolor and I filled in the image. So there's lots of different things you can do. This part is up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, basically, you just need to remember that your layer goes over to the right and you have some kind of element up here in the corner along with some other big element here down in this corner. All right, so that is our sketch and I'm gonna try to keep it. I'm gonna zoom back out. Whoops, always go the wrong way. Sorry, don't mean to make you dizzy there. Whoops, and I've got everything all twisted and my notes are showing. <laughs> <laughs> good morning and morning craziness here. All right, let me get this uh, back again. And uh, nope. want to get as much close as I can get you with, but still giving myself enough work to work, enough space to work. All right, so here we go. We're going to put the sketch right there. 
Okay, you can see that. I also want to remind you of the host code, so I'm just going to leave the host code up for you. Okay, so here's my sketch. Here is my workspace, and let's begin. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. My white layer. So I've cut this white layer at three and three quarters by five, and that's going to give me, an, when I push it over to the right, it's going to give me um, a more uh, of the card base showing here. So that was the idea of making it that size. It can be any size you want though. Um, I'm using the uh, evergreen, um, what is this? Uh, Evening Evergreen. I always forget all the new color names. <laughs> Evening Evergreen. Uh, white. Now, uh, I'll show you um, my sentiment later. I want to create this part first. And I'm getting out my um, Evergreen Elegance stamp set here. And what drew me to this was that I saw that um, in my sketch here, I've got this floral piece here, and I am doing my Christmas in July. So I thought, why don't we do trees here? This would be pretty, just kind of like a hillside of trees. So that is what I'm going to create, a hillside of trees, and put my Christmas sentiment up there. So that's gonna be pretty easy. All right, I've already got my stamps um, all set up on the block. And I need my ink, so I'm getting the Evening Evergreen and the Soft Succulent. And when you stamp off, so I have four shades actually of ink here. I've got the dark and the light, and I've got the dark and the light. And let me show you how this works. So I'm first going to start with the Soft Succulent, all right? And I'm going to go full saturation with the big tree, okay? And I am going to put that right I'm, and, and I'm leaving, I'm coming down a little bit. I'm not making it all the way to the top there. Full saturation. But now I'm going to stamp it again, but I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Okay. And now I have like a lighter one. Whoops. You know what? When I uh, stamped off the edge here, it left the ink there. That's okay. I'll cover it up with another tree. Just an opportunity to... <laughs> be more creative, right? All right, my next tree is going to be in the dark uh, evening evergreen. So let me move over my soft succulent. Okay, and I have the second size tree here. And I am going to cover up this part right here. All right, there we go. That's nice and dark, kind of camouflage that. Um, when I stamp again, I'm gonna stamp again right, actually I'm gonna move, where am I gonna put this? Yeah, right here. There we go. So we have soft succulent, then extra soft succulent. We have evergreen elegant, uh, evening evergreen, and then we stamped off, and so we, we stamped here, and then we stamped again, and it was a lighter shade. So there I have four shades of trees right there. Um, I have space for another tree. I'm just going to use this one, and this one I'm going to do full saturation in the soft succulent again. So it's a little darker than this, but not as dark as that, okay? And we're just going to put this little guy right there, and here we have a nice angle just like our sketch. So let me close up these inks real quick. <laughs> there we go. All right, so bring my sketch back in. Okay, and so you see how it has like an angle right there. There's my angle right there. So that's what I have created so far. Now, put this here, this here, and I need my base. There, here's my base, and I need my tape. Mm-hmm. I was using it earlier. Where is it? Here it is. Woo! So are you all enjoying the Christmas in July series? I hope so. I hope you're getting lots of ideas. How many of you, uh, I've already asked this before, and, and it is quite amazing how many of you have already started your Christmas cards. I believe we have a few in here who have close to 100 already made. That is quite impressive. Uh, I'm doing just a few a week with this series, but I am getting some made, so that's helpful. Oh, no. Oh, well, okay. Sadness. I accidentally got ink on my finger and then, of course, got it on my card. Have you all seen the Sandy Racer? Oh, and 
So my tools that I use, like the Sandy Racer clamping tweezers, I've made a page on my blog and it's called Must Have Tools. And these tools are not in the Stampin' Up! catalog. These are tools that I've bought at other craft places. Um, and I have links to them. Now they are affiliate links, so um, I just want you to be aware of that. Um, I do make a little bit off of them. But if you are looking for some of my tools, I have a page called Must Have Tools and um, they're on my blog and so you can find that under uh, Shop With Me. All right, enough of that. Let's get back, see how I cleaned it up? I love, everybody's gotta have a sandy racer, everybody. We are ready for our sentiment. Okay, I did it in gold, isn't that pretty? Now I did this beforehand so that you didn't have to listen to my hot heat gun. But basically I just stamped with the Versamark, put on the gold powder, and then I heat embossed it. Now, the shape of my sentiment, I wanna encourage all of you to get as many shape dies as you can and punches because it just makes for a little more fun making your cards. So this sentiment from the um, Evergreen Elegance, the the stamp set does not have dies. It has a punch, a border punch, but not dies. So if I want this sentiment cut out in a shape, I'm going to have to find my own die that fits. And so that's why you wanna have a good selection of different shapes to cut sentiments out with. And this one fit perfectly. And this is from Tasteful Labels. Let me pull that up for you, Tasteful Labels. And it's just a bunch of great, and there's some of them are stitched and some of them have kind of like an embossed border. Really cool shapes. All right, so I got that. Now, I wanna, uh, it looks kind of boring just sitting there. Yeah. Let's put some stuff behind it. I have my gold twine here, and um, I'm just gonna get myself, oh, I don't know, just a few wraps there of my finger. Okay, come on, and my scissors. Where are my snips? Here they are. And take my tag. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some adhesive here on the back. Okay, and I'm going to stick this gold twine. Uh, first of all, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna kinda let it separate so that it doesn't look all like twisted around crazy. Okay, whoa, it's going out of control now. <laughs> there we go. Ah, so sticky. There we go. All right, and if they get away from you, you just bring them back in. Not very sticky. Okay, come here. Um, yeah, there. But this, you can't see these, so I'm going to bring them down. There we go. And this one, too. Oops. I need my tweezers. My fingernails are not picking this up. Okay, there we go. All right, so if you if you press it down and it doesn't get where you want it, you just kind of move it around until you get it where you want it and then flip it over and look at it. And of course, I don't like having these tails out here. So we're just gonna take our snips and snip that off. And come here. Ooh, we are just being ornery this morning. Come on. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now you can't see them. So that's cool, huh? But I don't think that's enough. Okay, that's still pretty. I do like that, but it's not enough. We need more. We have this beautiful linen and gold ribbon. I love this. And what I'm gonna do here is just do that up and down and up and down thing that I do, okay? So up and down and up. <laughs> Just like that, and then trim that off. Okay, now we've got some. Now it really helps our sentiment to stick out. Isn't that cool looking? I love that. All right, let's get some dimensionals. So, one more time. Uh, this is Wednesday, Card Challenge Wednesday. And once again, congratulations to Debbie... Um, Wilson, Debbie Wilson. This week, it's card sketch number 14. And like I said, uh, most of you own this card sketch book that I created. Um, if you don't, it is available. The link is in the description. And, uh, or if you don't see that, just ask me and I'll send the link to you. All right, and we're just gonna stick that on there. I'm gonna have it come up a little bit. 
There we go. Now just remember when you put it in an envelope, um, if it's over the edge, that's fine, but um, be sure that it can bend and move away from the edge and ribbon of course can do that. We are finished with card, with our card and this is our card sketch number 14. So there you go. That's what we're doing today. All right. <laughs> Let me bring this down, this, oh, what am I doing here? There we go, hello everyone. <laughs> Okay, just remember, go over to, well, so you're on my, those of you watching live, you're on my Facebook page. Those of you who are watching on YouTube, you'll have to go over to my Facebook page. The post at the top that is pinned is the post where you will enter the challenge. I won't count your card if it's not posted there because how I do it is I just scroll the number that lands on the wheel and whatever card that is. So you have to be in that post to get in the in the challenge, but um, that's so fun. I love Wednesday card challenge and I'll be back Friday with Fun Fold Friday. Don't forget the host code. You guys have a blessed day. Love you all so much. Thank you for being with us here today. Bye-bye.